Headlines now. Tennessee still under a state of emergency as communities along major waterways still seeing flooding. Tima says 14 counties across the state have declared local states of emergency, including Claiborne, Scott and Sevier. And by the looks of the video, you understand why. Why? Look at this. TDOT says there are 130 places on state roads that have been impacted by slides, flooding or other issues from all the rain we saw last week. And this morning, a subdivision still trapped by floodwaters in West Knox County. North Shore Hills is near the intersection of North Shore Drive and Ebenezer Road. The only way in and out is flooded. WBIR 10 News reporter Leslie Ackerson is near the neighborhood where these neighbors have been trapped for days, Leslie. That's right, Abby and Russell, since those rains came on Saturday, they have been stuck inside their neighborhood with no way out because there's massive flooding on one side and the other side. Now, I know it's really dark here this morning, but the one thing I think you guys can see is the, the right side of the lane here as it just goes into the water and disappears just like the guardrail does a little further up and TDOT was out here earlier uh, yesterday assessing some of the damage and what they can do to help and they do say that it's about still about six feet deep in the middle. I was out here yesterday afternoon and the water has receded a decent amount but what is left is dirt. There's trees all that debris that has been dragged over in the road. It's still going to be a cleanup effort even when this is gone. It's going to leave a mess behind. Let's go back to some of that drone video that we saw earlier to kind of give you a better picture of what we're seeing right here because you hear about this damage and maybe you're not seeing any in your neck of the woods, but it is very real for the people here. But the neighbors, you know what? They're keeping a good attitude. They have friends who are driving and picking them up, walking through other neighbors yards and grabbing a ride to the grocery store. One man took on a boat to the grocery store, he said, and they're just trying to keep positive and, and just wait for, for the next move. We went to Kroger's this morning in a small boat. In a small boat. Really, the first day was just, wow, is that really happening? And then uh, yesterday it was more of, okay, well, now that it's happened, how bad is it going to be? And I talked to some uh, volunteer firefighters, uh, rural metro that are doing some assessments for TEMA, and they said that they believe there is a spillway in this area, but it's probably clogged from a lot of that dirt and debris that I mentioned as well. But it may just be Mother Nature that's going to have to clear all this up with the hope of some sunshine. But we do know r more rain is on the way. About 80 families affected in this neighborhood. We're definitely thinking for them uh, and, and hoping and praying that, that, that this eases up soon for their sake. But I'll send it for, back to you guys in the studio, Abby and Russell. All right, Leslie, thanks for that report. We appreciate it.